You are watching Sipping Off the Cuff on tequilaaficionado.com, part of Tequila Aficionado Media. Uh, I'm Alex Perez in Southern California, and that gentleman there is... I am Mike Morales here in San Antonio, Tejas. Uh, Alex, tonight we have we have something very, very interesting to taste. Uh, a lot of folks may have heard of it in, in California, in Southern California, particularly in the San Diego area, but outside of that, maybe not. You should. You should know who these people are. It's uh, Califino. See what they did there? Califino. See what they did there, Alex? Califino? Yes. Their, their tagline is, enjoy the fino things in life. Very clever. Meaning fine things in life. I got to say, I, I like their packaging. It's got this old, like this old California mission san diego yeah. you, know, you know like junipero serra <laughs> you know it's got that it's got that old california feel to it i like the, the burnt label yeah yeah um i i think cool. off the bat we we need uh, we need to make this a brand of promise in their packaging because i i agree uh wait till you see the extra Nijo. we're gonna hold off on that because because there's something really special about that nice. but um this uh, what we know about this tequila is that it comes out of uh, they're making it at Nome uh, 1468, and uh, that is in Arandas. The family uh, it's ba there's a they give you a whole family history. They I guess the, yeah. the patriarch the Highlands the Highlands tequila. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, they're from they're song Arandenses. They're from Arandas, and. Um, and so is the distillery. Uh, if, if you know anything about Nome uh, 1468, there's a couple of tequilas that, that come out of there. There's only a handful, so it's a small distillery. Ooh, bubbles. But but the but one of the tequilas that comes out of there is Capena, which you and I have tasted. There's been a brand of promise. Yeah. And also Alchemia. Oh, I love Alchemia. Yeah. So um, oddly enough, they don't make a Blanco. So we start off. With a reposado, and yeah. I'm going to use my Stasol Jarrito, and I'm using a Glen Karen. Glen Karen. what a beautiful color, though, Alex. Very nice. So this is. Let's see. They're laying it in twelve months in American white oak barrels. Twelve months for a reposado? Yeah. No kidding. Wow. It's a while. Yeah. Oh. It's got a beautiful nose. Yes. It's got an Añejo nose. <clears throat> well, I, I got fruits. I, I'm getting like, oh. like uh, I don't want to say dried fruit so much as like, um, well, maybe mature fruit. Let's just say mature fruit. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, wow. getting vanilla notes. Yes. A little bit of spice, baking spices. The more it opens up, the more delightful it becomes. Nice. Wow. By the way, they're using real cork on this one. Little wooden wooden top, real cork. Yeah. Wow. Did you see did you notice the agave on there? No, I didn't see that. Oh, okay. Shit. Oh, look at that! It's on yours. Well, yeah, it's on. You know, I saw, I, I saw it when you took yours off. Did you? I didn't even notice. I I know it's on the back of the of the. That's like cool. I say, it's on the front and the back. Oh. You know, and for some reason, I'm going to be honest. For some reason, I was a bit confused because when they sent us this little card, it looked like a like a table tent. Like it, I thought for some reason, the family had a restaurant, and it and. I may have gotten them confused with like maybe El Cholo or something like that, you know, but, and I, and I think it's because they, they, you know, even when you look at their, their, their point of sale material, their, their, their postcard, it, it got that, it has this, this old, like it's been around for a long time, you know, like and, a restaurant, family owned restaurant. Yeah. But, but it's like not, Joel, right. Yeah. Uh, they, they have like this tinted, this like an old postcard look, and again, it's got that the whole they really stuck with the old California theme, you know, and and 
What is a postcard? Yeah. Yeah, it's a postcard. Cool. But it's also, you know, you, you can you can put this on on your table at, at your restaurant, wherever you happen to be. Um, they had, they mentioned all their partners, all their accounts that they're in right now. They, they were nice enough to, Gilbert Reyes was nice enough to send us the, uh, uh, the deck and the information. I'm going to, I got to dive in this. This is a beautiful, yeah, this is a beautiful nose. Wow. You know, I am getting like dried fruit now, uh, Mike, mm. like you mentioned earlier, mm. beautiful nose. <laughs> Oh, Alex. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Alex is, for those of you <clears throat> who listen to us on the podcast, Alex's eyes went wide open and he nodded yes. <clears throat> oh, my oh. goodness. This is a bold reposado, though. <clears throat> the, the, oh, that is the good. That retro, that retro is incredible. Yeah. This <clears throat> on I mean, mid palate. And it's got, got a, a lot. I got a ton of vanilla in my retro. Yeah, and <clears throat> the finish. This is a, this has got a long, lingering finish. It does. Wow. Little, little burn on the back. Yeah, but it's almost like a cinnamon, like a like a. It is cinnamon. Yeah, you like, you, you got ah, it. Cinnamon. Yeah. You hit it on the nose. <clears throat> wow, this is really impressive, Reposado. Mm hmm. Mm. <clears throat> now are we getting now the fruit? Are we getting? You said it was dried fruit. I didn't want to go all the way dry because it does, it does have that that extra añejo nose that you and I have had in some really good extra añejos. But but I'm also on on my second and third pass. I'm getting more of the like like tropical fruits, and I want to say mature. You know, they're, if you were a sommelier or something, they they would they make them sit there and and have rotting fruit. To see how it ages in in open air, so I wouldn't want to call it rotting fruit so much as it'd be ripe, ripe, ripe fruit, like go. like ripening fruit. That's kind of what I'm getting. I get a little bit of citrus in the nose too. Yes, yes. What I, is it? Is it like orange? It's like orange, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. I can't pinpoint it. But it's pretty complex. Yeah, there's a lot <clears throat> going on in this, and and beautiful legs and tears. It's just and the glycerin. Now, yeah. Now they they don't have a blanco. Uh, it's probably a good business decision because everybody knows that right now anyone making any anyone making real money in in tequila is doing it with repos añejos and extra añejos and and that's because of the, the pricing structure but uh i would love to taste the blanco that this starts with <clears throat> i mean i understand that the the, the aged the the aged versions is where the money's at but i uh, but as you know you for you and me who have tasted all kinds of stuff I really want to see what they start with. I, yeah. I would love because to taste this blanco. It probably is a very good blanco. I well, that's what I'm saying. Wow. Okay, I'm ready to nominate. Let's do it. I I don't have I didn't bring it for this. <laughs> Did so, you lose your paddle? <laughs> I'll go get my if if you'll wait two minutes, I'll go get my paddle. No, I'll get it from I'll have it for the next version, but brand of promise. Brand of Promise nominee in the Reposado category. Reposado category yeah. wow. uh, good. I love the packaging. I love what they're doing. I love the direction that they're heading. Oh, wait. My producer shows the paddle. <laughs> there it yeah. is. It's a poof. I'll hit you. Uh, it's a Brand of Promise nominee in that Reposado wow. category. Very nice. It's outstanding. Now, uh, I don't. Did he. Um, did Gilbert send you any pricing? Because I, I have. I have MSRP that he's got here. The Reposado should go for thirty-eight ninety-nine. Wow, that's that's dirt cheap. And uh, they have a lot of you know. If you look at their at their website, it's it's mobile friendly. If you look at their Instagram, they do a great job. You really should follow these guys. They 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 they're really trying to gain some traction. Uh, I believe they launched officially in twenty eighteen. Uh, May of last year, 
and we've been watching them and watching them and and, and um, we were out of town when they sent these samples to us so we had to wait until until the very last minute to do this and I'm glad we did because nice. I I like what these guys are, are doing I like where they're headed they're a family um, uh, apparently the, the the patriarch would bring back in the, in the mid 70s would bring back uh, tequila from the, from the family farms um, you know like moonshine and uh, evidently this whole that's where they 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 gained a, a reputation and a recipe and wow man very nice this is a you know, bold bold reposado again you and i have tasted a lot of repos reposados are making a comeback a really hard statement in this one oh yeah i, I believe that this is this is a really good uh, uh example of that yeah i i agree with you brand of promise nominee that's what we'll uh, we'll start with this uh, with this reposado it's Calafino. go find it go get it i believe you can also get it at uh, old town yes. Uh, you know, Old Town has it. I just looked them up. Thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah. See, there you go. You can you can you can sip this all day for that much. Oh, yeah. and it is a sipper, although they they uh, encourage cocktails. Yeah. Uh, and and they do that with their añejo as well. So which is which is kind of different, you know, because uh, most of the time your blancos and repos are the ones that are saved for the cocktails, and then your añejos are for your more high end and you know your cosmos and stuff like that but uh you could put this in a cocktail you i'm sure you could play with oh, this yeah. and, oh, and yeah. make it awesome I'd so, be happy to. so that's our take on Califino reposado uh i'm mike morales here in san antonio that gentleman out there is alex perez in southern california if you like this please like us let us know give us your comments about uh your thoughts on Califino. thanks for watching and as always sip wisely